Hi everyone, this is Michelle for vegan.com and today I'm making a video for you about everyday oils. Now when you go to the supermarket you see an overwhelming array of oils. There's corn oil, sunflower, safflower, peanut, sesame, soybean, and on and on and on. How are you supposed to know the difference and which oils you need for what purposes? Well, that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. And really, let's keep it simple. You only need two or maybe three types of oil in your kitchen. The first is coconut oil, and that's going to be used for any high heat situations like stir frying. The second one is going to be extra virgin olive oil, which you can use in any savory dishes and pretty much everything else. And then the third optional one is canola oil, and that is if you bake a lot and need oils that have absolutely no flavor to them, you can go with canola. It's pretty neutral. Now let's talk about coconut oil. You may think that that's an odd choice of oil considering it's so high in saturated fat. But if you're going to be doing a lot of stir fries, specifically in traditional woks, a little bit goes a long way and it's really perfect for that. And because coconut oil is so high in, in saturated fat, it's actually less likely to degrade into free radicals when exposed to high heat, unlike many other oils that you might use. Coconut oil is spectacular when drizzled on toast, and especially if you try making cinnamon sugar toast, you can add some coconut oil and cinnamon and sugar and it is a delightful treat. But try and limit your use of it because coconut oil has even more saturated fat than butter, so it's not the most healthy if you're going to be eating a ton of it. Another thing that you can do with coconut oil is use it for body care products. It works great as a skin moisturizer and you can also use it as a hair conditioner. So coconut oil is very versatile and a great staple for any vegan kitchen. Really though, most of your refined oil ought to come from an extra virgin olive oil. Now extra virgin isn't some fancy or ridiculously expensive grade of olive oil, it just denotes that it's pretty much the bare minimum for a quality olive oil. Anything that's not labeled extra virgin was probably extracted using chemical solvents and could have been using olives that were already pressed for their extra virgin oil. Additionally, extra virgin means that the olive oil has been tested against rancidity. So it's all great things, so when you are shopping for olive oil, make sure you get extra virgin. And there are tons of brands out there, and some of them have a more olive -y flavor and some of them are more neutral, so try a bunch and see what you like the best. Olive oils can be used in making salad dressings, you can add them to soups and stews, you can use it as a simple dipping sauce for fresh baked bread, and so much more. Well, that is all I have for today, folks. Those are my tips on everyday oils. If you guys found this helpful, I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up, meaning you liked it. And don't forget to click subscribe to our vegan.com YouTube channel so you'll stay the first to know when we post new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, you can find more tips, recipes, news, and so much more at vegan.com. And I will see you next time. Bye.